Hello, and in this quick little video, we are going to talk a little bit about synchronizing your Google Classroom classes and some of the little uh, nuances about it that we need to kind of figure out as we move forward with this Google Classroom Sync option. Now, with Google Classroom Sync, this is a great way to pull in your roster directly from Google Classroom. Now, one of the things that we need to be aware of is that if we have students that transfer into and or out of our Google Classroom, we must always remember to one, make that adjustment within Google Classroom, and then two, synchronize our classes in Hapara. So what I'm gonna show you is that we currently have some Hapara workspaces set up and I have added five new students to my Google Classroom. So if you see my Google Classroom course here, I have added students numbers 20, well actually six more students, I've actually added student number 20 through student number 25 into my Google Classroom. However, when I go into Hapara, I haven't added them in there yet. So I haven't conducted and done that Google Classroom sync. I need to do that. So here are my learners in my Hapara test classroom. So you don't see any student names here, you just see some blank accounts that we have set up. And I am missing my Hapara student number 20 through number 25. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on sync class over here in the upper right hand corner of my screen. I'm gonna wait for this to take place. There we go, my Google Classroom sync has completed. I can scroll down and now I can see that I have my new students loaded into my Google Classroom class. Well, it's actually on Hapara, but these were synchronized from my Google Classroom class. Now, everything seems good right now, but I need to make sure that my students can now view the content that I give to them in my workspace. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and select my workspace. And I'm gonna pick this workspace over here that I'm starting up. There's not gonna be much in it. As you can see, there's a whole great number of cards set up. Well, actually there's nothing. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit students and groups. And then I will see here that my previous students can access all of my content. However, my new students in my roster will not be able to see that content. I need to actually go ahead and manually add them to this. So I'm gonna, I can either go ahead and click and drag one by one, or I can select multiple students and pull them in all at once. So I have four students right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop them. And now the instant that I add those students into this group, on their end, they should be able to view my content. They can view my workspace. 